And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to bring you another Starfield shipbuilding technique video. Well, I guess more like an idea video, tech, tech shipbuilding idea video. But yes, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels. Everything does help. This is going to be a short video. We're going to go over this concept that was brought to my attention by Oscar um, Garcia Blessa 1462. Thanks so much for commenting. And yes, so this is an idea that I put back um, in a build. All right, in a, in a ship build, I didn't put it out, put it out as a technique or a concept, um, but this time I want to just put it out there as its own isolated thing, so you don't have to look for a video to figure out. Oh, I can do that. So, FYI, this is what we're doing. This was I. This is what I did in the previous video. I took a control station. All right, not, not, not that one. I took a control station, right? And decided I want to have the benefits of having eight crew stations available on my ship. And but in one spot, so I decided to use a duplication buddy glitch. All right, duplication buddy glitch to merge this down into the same spot, and now I have two there. All right, now I have two. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do. And since all the items are in the same hab, right, I'm using the same exact hab, they're just duplicated into the same spot. So there's two chairs in the same spot, it looks all the same. You could walk in there. I mean, you might have. Your crew members be sitting on each other because they, they think there's two chairs there but yeah it works and i was able to do that in the same spot but but now now with the inclusion of empty halves you can now easily put in two different very various types um and i don't i'm gonna do it here <laughs> i was like all right there's the living quarters i'm gonna do it in this one so i'm gonna move this to the side right I have an empty living quarters, and now I'm going to put in an empty um, control station. So I get the benefit of having four additional four crew stations available on my ship, plus those two from the cockpit, and then also add two more passenger slots. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to duplicate one at top using the duplication buddy glitch. And you want to go over all the glitches that we like to use in our builds: flip glitch, duplication glitch. Um, ship duplication glitches, fractional glitches, merges, whatever you want to call them. Um, check out the video. There's an ultimate guide on glitches in the description, wherever it is in this in the screen. But anyway, I'm taking this control station. I'm going to merge it in with the living quarters using duplication buddy glitch, using my flooding, floating buddy stack over here. I now have both the whole tech control station and living quarters in there. And let's go check it out. That's what I want to do. I'm just going to go check it out. See what it's like. But yes, with empty habs, it's you could pretty much merge any hab together now. That's empty, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. That's not, that's not the right ship. There's the right ship. Here you go. Thresher. All right, we're going to go in. We're going to go in. We have the landing bay connected directly into that double hab mesh. And we're going to see what happens. Here we go. Let's see what happens and see what it does. Hey. I have things for you. This is not the right one. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, did I, I? Okay, I put in a normal control station. I put in a normal control station uh, into a living living quarters. It's so you can see there, there's the bed from the living quarters. <laughs> okay, okay, you know, let's do, this, let's do this right. Let's do this right. Let's do this right. Let's put in an empty, an empty control station. It's like, oops. It's like, oops. Okay, right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to do it right this time. We're going to do it right. So, control station, make that into an empty one. I mean, I guess I could have just left it there. Hold on, hold on. I could have left it there because I was able to select it. Control station. Space bar. Okay, no, maybe not. Empty. Empty control station. All right, there we go. I'm going to duplicate this down again. So I have two of these here. Get my duplication buddy stack. Select the, the modules I want to duplicate. Duplicate it down. So yeah, this works because the only available snapping point is the one on the bottom. But yeah, check out the guide, everybody. Check out the guide. But yes, I am duplicating, using duplication buddy glitch to merge these halves into each other. Glitch them in, into each other, merge them into each other, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look. -see. Warning. 
you know, the way you handle things. There we go. Not bad. So notice that right. it's a bit brighter. The room is a bit brighter because there's double lights in here. I would only, like, from my standpoint, I'd say only merge two halves together because things could become a little bit more glitchy inside after because we have, you know, we're glitching pieces yeah. together here. But yeah, so there you go. So this is an idea for you. Um, and yeah, notice there's two doors now. You bring me shit back in one piece. <laughs> that's right. So there you go. So that's the thought. So this, I mean, fortunately, like, usually I wouldn't... Hear that? So usually I would st I would stack this up. Just, just as a thought. All right, just as a thought. Let me just do it the way that... I would want to do it. I would usually avoid having doors be connected to. It's like I would, yeah, I would, I would I'd avoid doors. The only thing that I'd probably want in here would be a ladder. So I'm just gonna, um, wait, can I grab both of them at the same time? Let me see. If I can grab both of these. Uh, maybe. Nope. Okay. Whatever. So what I would usually do is like, all right, let's put another half down here. I mean, or it would be, it would be something like this. It'd be something like this. All right, let's let's get rid of, let's add a different type of landing bay. All right, just what I would like to do. I mean, this technically works, right? If I want something a little bit cleaner, I would do. We're using Hope Tech right now. Hope Tech companion way. I'll bring in the um, landing bay, the shipbed 200 landing bay to the front. Perfect. I'll put that where it is. Move this aside. Bring this in. Bring this in. Delete this. Is this is this what I want to do? I uh, probably have a different docker. I put the docker in the bottom, T just to make it clean. Just to make it clean, right? I'm just trying to clean things up a little bit. Living quarters empty, and you put a control station back in there. So I'll duplicate this, duplicate it again. Just cover up so that the only place it can go is down between those two modules. Delete this stack. Add this in. There we go. Let's try it out. Let's try this out and see what it, what it looks like now. All right. So this is a clean way into the thresher. There's only one door there, right? Only one door. And ladder will go into both of these. There you go. So that is a clean entry because there's no doors. And there's a, and notice, notice that. Notice, look at the lighting. Look at the lighting. Darker here, lighter here. All right. need something? And also got the nice little bed from the living quarters and all this stuff, but you also have the benefits of the control station in the same spot. So the only thing that has double doors here is the doors to the cockpit. It's fine. I think that's fine. That works out well. But uh, yeah, I would I would usually avoid double doors to through a docker or a um, or to the bay, through the bay area. But yeah, that that's it, right? Is that all I wanted to say? Yes. That's all I wanted to say. If you, yeah, if I double stack a hab, if I merge two halves together, um, I'd usually try to avoid doors or, or, or any kind of opening or it might be kind of funky. But yeah, it technically works, but it just might be a little funky. And that is it, everybody. That is the end of this sure video. Nice short one. For, yeah, nice short one, guys. Nice short one. Of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything is, does help out. Beyond that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day that we just updated to Thresher 3. And we'll see you all next time. Peace out. And thank you so much for all the love and support, as always. Standing on the hearts. We'll see you all next time. Peace.